performance from this young lady. Anthony Kerber, she's the one. A big twist gave the Stuttgart fans something to shout about on Thursday. Three-time defending champion Maria Sharapova tasting defeat in the Porsche Tennis Grand Prix for the first time after a heroic display from Angelique Kerber. That added extra significance to quarter-finals day on Friday. Four seeds remained in the draw, alongside some clay court specialists and rising stars of the game. With Kerber given time to recover from her three-set epic, Simona Halep opened proceedings on centre. Halep will replace Sharapova as the world number two on Monday after the Russian shock exit. A quarter-final opponent, Sara Arani, was looking to match her 2014 performance in making the final four. That looked in doubt as she fell to an early break. Sensational. The second seed cruised to the first set. Feisty Italian pushed her all the way in the second. There's Sara Arani in a nutshell. Beautiful speed to run it down with the control once she got there. Absolutely near perfection. Nonetheless, it was Halep who made the crucial breakthrough at 5 4, securing win number 26 for the season. She does it at the fourth attempt in emphatic style, Simona Halep, in the pulsating first quarter final of the day. I think uh, I played uh, good tennis, uh, not my best, but I tried everything to win the match. I'm really happy to be in the semi finals here for the first time. I like this tournament, I like this place, and uh, I'm enjoying a lot this tournament. Second on court was Caroline Wozniacki. She's enjoying her best performance of the tournament since 2011, taking on Carla Suarez Navarro in the last eight. Victory for the Spanish number one would have seen her rise to a career high ninth in the world. She struggled to compete with Wozniacki's consistency in set one. Just missed the target there, Suarez Navarro. It is a bagel first set for Caroline Wozniacki. Forseed won the first six games and continued her supreme defensive work early in the second with an inch perfect lob. I mean, come on, this is unbelievable from that position where Caroline was hitting the lob. Suarez Navarro at least got on the board in the second. The decisive backhand from Wozniacki confirmed her impressive progress. Fitting, she wraps up proceedings with a backhand winner. A father and entourage are on their feet applauding. I uh, served well, returned well, and um, just stayed in the rally and waited for my, my turn to be aggressive. And um, everything went my way today. I'm really pleased. Possibly still shell shocked from her landmark win the day before. Angelique Kerber gave Ekaterina Makarova a three-game head start in their quarter. Oh, what a reach. What a reach. But with the backing of the partisan home fans, world number 14 hit back to take the first, was back to producing crowd-pleasing winners in set two. Oh, that is amazing. How yeah, delighted is she with that? You won't be. Kerber in control, set 5-2. Two breaks of serve seeing her seal the match to move on to her second Stuttgart semi. Shanked yeah. wide from the Russian Kerber, it is. Yeah. It's accomplished a straight set victory in exactly Take one that. hour. 6-3, 6-2. I mean, everybody was expecting, okay, she beat Maria, so now it's easy, but I mean, everybody is playing good here, and uh, I just was trying to get the energy from the amazing crowd here, and um, playing point by point, and believe in myself. Two lowest seeds left in the draw closed the day's play, as well number 43, Madison Brengel, and Francis Carolyn Garcia. 21-year-old has looked comfortable on the clay this week, and she took the first set after breaking in game eight. Control and that's a fantastic return. Really short preparation and just aggressively used all the pace that was coming in her. But keen to make the most of her main draw debut, Rangel hit back in set two to force the decider. Way to handle the situation by Madison. The pair hit their stride in the third, an absorbing rally coming to a comical end.
American able to see the funny side of her inexplicable miss. And she had more reason to smile come the end of the set. A wild error from Garcia seeing her crash out. Engel's career year shows no sign of stopping. And after a one hour and 37 minutes, it is Madison Brangle. She is very, very solid and she can take the return early and the lefty serve is definitely effective. So I definitely have my work cut out for me. The unheralded US star will certainly face a sterner test against home favorite Kerber in Saturday's semis. First two seeds clash as Wozniacki takes on Halep.